ladies and gentlemen, there's one notable thing I want to say. Whenever the news don't look so good for the high IQ, it's always fake news, right? Whenever the news is negative about the black community, it's never fake news to them. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, since Trump made his comment about the disinfectant, ladies and gentlemen, people are still trying to use it in order to prevent coronavirus. It has not changed. So this came out in Reuters, June 5th, 2020. Gargling with bleach, Americans misusing disinfectant to prevent coronavirus survey finds. So high IQ people are still believing Trump that they can use disinfectant and not get coronavirus. Oh boy. More than a third of Americans misuse cleaners and disinfectants to try to prevent infection by the coronavirus, according to a survey taken shortly after President Donald Trump publicly asked whether injecting such products could treat COVID-19. Washing food with bleach, using household cleanings or disinfecting products on bare skin, and intentionally inhaling and ingesting these products were some of the most commonly reported high-risk practices in a May 4th online survey of 502 U.S. adults, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention reported. The survey's lead author said it was undertaken, followed uh, a sharp increase in calls to poison control centers for exposure to cleaners and disinfectants during the pandemic. In late April, Trump asked scientists during one of his coronavirus task force briefing whether inserting disinfectant into the body of people infected with the virus might help clear the disease. Horrifying health experts Makers of household cleaners were compelled to urge people not to drink or inject their products. Some 39% of people surveyed reported intentionally engaging in at least one high-risk practice not recommended by the CDC to prevent coronavirus infections, including using bleach to clean food or Misting the body with a disinfectant spray, 40% drank or gargled with diluted bleach solution, soapy water, or disinfectants. Oh, man, Americans are dumb. America, Americans are dumb. They're dumb. A quarter of those surveyed reported having at least one adverse health effect during the previous month that they believe resulted from using these products. The CDC suggested that official COVID-19 prevention messages that currently focus on hand hygiene and frequent cleaning should also include instructions on proper usage of cleaners and disinfectants and storing chemicals out of the reach of children. Yes, because Americans are dumb and they still believe what Donald Trump said. So yeah, you got to give them extra instructions because these folks, you know, when I was going to school, they said Americans function about at a fifth grade level. I'm telling you, Americans function at a first grade level. Limitations to the survey included that it was for a single point in time and was opt in rather than a random sampling, the agency said. Oh, these people are dumb. They are dumb. But see, these are the same people that think they got the right to monitor 
<laughs> and deputized themselves to be the overseers of black people. <laughs> the ones that are doing this stuff. <laughs> Woo, man, instead of focusing on us, try to focus on your own stupidity and maybe you can work your way out of it. But I'm not real hopeful about that. But ladies and gentlemen, can you believe these people are still here? We are in June and they are still trying to follow something that Donald Trump said back in April. And I don't believe he's taken that malaria medication. I think he just put that mess out there. I really do. I don't believe nothing that Donald Trump says. You cannot go by anything that man says for real. But y'all, please tell me what you think. I guess these are the people that are run and get the vaccine. The ones that really don't have any common sense and think that bleach and disinfectants are going to work inside their bodies. And I'm telling you, any vaccines that America comes up with, it is not going to be all that great. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.